Damataro in northern Nigeria, the site of coordinated attacks on Christmas Day by the homegrown Islamist militant group Boko Haram. Sandbags now line the near-empty streets as the town braces itself for more. Across Nigeria's north, scenes like these are becoming all too common. The militant group has promised violence against any Christians who remain in the predominantly Muslim region. It's also taking aim at the country's government, which the group claims is illegitimate. The North has been under Sharia law since 1999, but Boko Haram say that's not good enough. They want a full Islamic state. Who exactly are Boko Haram? Other than their demand for religious purity, very little is known about them. This exclusive footage obtained by CNN is one of the few records of the group in action. Their ultra-strict teachings, though, seem to have become a lightning rod for the frustrations in Nigeria's poorer northern regions. The group's best recruitment tool seems to be the northernest sense of marginalization. Shihu Sani from the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria is one of the few people to have openly met with Boko Haram during now-stalled peace talks. The organization is appeals to many people in their hundreds of thousands because of their strong opposition to the corruption and bad governance and irresponsibility of leadership in Nigeria over the years. There is so much fear and apprehension and uh, there is no doubt about it. The insurgency is creating uh, a feeling of failure on the side of the state and the government to protect his own citizens. Violence exploded across northern Nigeria after national elections in April were considered by many in the north to have been rigged. The Nigerian government deployed the military and said the security situation was under control. But it wasn't. In August, Boko Haram carried out one of the deadliest attacks against the UN in many years. A suicide bombing that killed 24 people at the UN headquarters in the capital, Abuja. Since then... Attacks have continued almost weekly, and displaced people continue to flee, cities and towns across the north. But it's not just here that people are nervous. Nigerians throughout the country are anxiously hoping the violence doesn't spread any further. Nemal Barif, CNN, London.